I'll be honest, anytime somebody asks me if I think they should buy a USB microphone, the answer is always a no. I'm just not impressed by what I've heard so far, and I think the money's better spent on a condenser microphone and an audio interface. So can the new Antelope Audio Axino Synergy Core USB microphone change my mind? Let's roll that intro and find out. What's up YouTube Universe, this is Jacob Dark, and if you're new here, I'm somebody who's always trying to get my hands on the latest tech to test, review, and give my opinion to help everyday people just like me make that final purchase decision. Whether it's a sponsored item or not, I'll always give you my full, unbiased, honest opinion, so let's not waste any more time and get into today's video. The Antelope Audio Axino Synergy Core USB Microphone Recording System is aimed at streamers, podcasters, singers, and songwriters who want an all-in-one solution without the need for multiple components that requires a more complex setup. It's compatible with Windows and Mac OS, and when assembled, is desktop friendly and stands in at about 12 inches tall, has a depth just under 8 inches, with the base sitting around 5.5 inches wide. Taking a look at the black matte colored metal body, from top to bottom, we have your low frequency cut switch on the left, a pad switch on the right, which reduces input signal by 10 dB, a volume or gain knob below that, and your headphone volume knob on the bottom, which when held can reset your microphone back to factory settings. And finally, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. All of the activation steps can be a little daunting at first, but if you take it step by step, you'll get through it just fine. The first thing to note is that like all Antelope products, you are required to register an account and download the Antelope Launcher software, which is required to run the mixer. Once you've installed and updated everything, you'll want to go through the Configure Windows or Mac instructions and follow those very carefully. Make sure you download the user manual as it's a lifesaver in case you need to remember steps later on. Finally, listed on their Getting Started page is an important note which basically states to make sure that you're plugging the device into a USB 3 or 3.1 connection to ensure that you're powering the microphone properly. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about that price tag. At $399, the Axino is one of the priciest USB microphones on the market today, so can it justify the cost? Let's take a look at the features that you can only find with the Axino and find out. First, let's take a look at the most popular USB microphone on the market, the Blue Yeti. It's got a mute button and volume knob on the front, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the bottom, and a gain knob and polar pattern switch on the back. It's plug and play, set your mic volume, headphone volume, and record. Minus the polar patterns, everything I'm going to talk about from this point on are features you can only find on the Axino microphone and why it just may be the best USB microphone out today. High resolution sound. Inside this device is the same 64-bit acoustically focused clocking technology found in their $3,000 master clocks like the Isochrone Trinity. DAC, the digital to analog converter in the headphone output has a dynamic range of up to 124 dB, which is more than my Mo2 Ultralight Mark V headphone output which only has 118 dB. With stats like these, there'll be no need to do a vocal test as this entire video is being tracked with the Axino Synergy Core. Speaking of Synergy Core, let's take a look at the monster features you won't find anywhere else. First, the mic emulations. You get 18 mic emulations of some of the most popular microphones out today. Legendary mics like the 87, the SM7B, the 251, and the 47 can all be found here, ready to be dialed in to whatever flavor you prefer. If we switch to the 87 emulation, then you should be able to notice that high frequency boost which gives my voice a little bit of air. 
And if we switch to the 7B emulation, you'll notice a low frequency boost, which mimics a dynamic microphone like the SM7B. It's pretty noticeable to hear the dynamics change in my voice. That's just half the battle, as the other option lets us use up to 12 real-time effects simultaneously and features emulations of classic analog gear like the LA-2A, the 1176, the Neve 73, and more. If that's all a bit complicated for you, there are presets you can select for easy tuning like VoiceOver, which uses the 7B, and Female Vocals, which uses the popular 87. Click on the Effects tab and you can manually tweak your settings. One two 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 Below AFX is your Auraverb tab where you can add and customize reverb to your voice, which can be super useful for you singers out there. One two 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 because this is aimed at you streamers out there, loopback is included for you gamers who want your viewers to hear both you and your game audio at the same time. Here's a quick demonstration. Okay, so I'm currently using the OBS software. We have my sound stripe pulled up here. So I'm going to show you the mixer software where we have the Axino in the first track and I have USB 1.2, which is where I have my computer audio going through. So once I hit play on the computer, audio music in the background which this could also be game music or whatever it is you're streaming you should be able to hear them both at the same time and if i hit record which is what i'm doing now with the obs software you should be able to hear them both so now you can hear my voice and the computer audio voice at the same time and yes i can tweak settings more and get the volume just right but this is just a quick test one two three one, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. If you are purchasing this for the purpose of cutting demos and recording music and don't already have a DAW to record with and you're on PC, I highly recommend Cakewalk by BandLab, which is an absolutely free to use software with all the tracks, plugins, and virtual instruments you could ever want to get you started. So now that we've covered the specs and features, the mic and effects emulations, it's up to you to decide if the Axino is worth the $400 price tag. If you're looking for a USB mic, I want to hear from you and know if you decided to go with the Axino or not and why you chose to do so. So did it change my mind? Look, if you're somebody that doesn't have the real estate, you don't want to have to worry about studio monitors, monitor stands, a microphone, a microphone stand, a microphone cable, an audio interface, cables, and different components all over the place, and you just want a simple device that gets the job done, I can highly recommend the Axino USB microphone as a great alternative option. Just spend a little bit of time with the mic, get the settings dialed in just right, and enjoy creating your content. Now, if you decide to purchase this microphone, I would super appreciate it if you use the link in the description of this video. It helps support this channel and earns me a small commission. That's going to do it for today. So as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be alerted each time I upload more content. So until next time, thank you for watching, stay tuned and have a great day.